Welcome back guys, this is Arsene one and today we are going to do something and Slugshop Angel 4 is going to tell you what we are going to do today. Hello guys, today we are talking about different topics while we have some Battlefield 1 gameplay in the background and we have one topic that is gaming related and one topic that isn't and we are going to start with the topic that isn't gaming related at all and it's going to be the NFL and we are going to give you some... Yeah, yeah. and the NFL is a topic where you just could talk so much about it and so if we got time we're going to talk about this gaming related topic at the end but if not just you're going to see it in the next episode because just not this is not uh, the only episode of the series that you're going to see obviously so yeah why are we going to talk about the NFL it's just like two reasons one is that the NFL is getting big in Germany right now because since last year, since last season, we get two games every Sunday that we can watch in free TV and that's why and they have huge quotes so like half a million to a million people are always watching which is amazing, it's an amazing amount of people here in Germany Yeah. just because it's free TV and it's, it's not even a like a big TV like no station it's like big tv channel is just big station and yeah. not much advertising at all and it's just great and germany is like in a football hype right now and it's just like in the american football video um games it's like five minutes of gameplay and five minutes of or two minutes of um at 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 advertising Advertising. I that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And but yeah, it's it's great in Germany and like yeah. it's hyped a lot, but I'm honestly I'm a fan for a long time. I'm a fan since like five years ago I started watching. I'm a fan since the 49ers were good back then, I'm a 49ers fan. And they start their season, I know that. And my second team that I support it's in the other division, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Because they are iconic and they have an amazing team and the quarterback is great and the running back is great. And I think they are very sympathetic I guess and yeah they deserve to be supported in my opinion. And ah, this is a fan since we were in America last year, or last summer. And we yeah, were visiting year. the stadium in Phoenix which is the, like the University of Phoenix Stadium or University of Arizona Stadium. and. It's the home of the Arizona Cardinals and those are division rivals of my team and I don't know what I thought but I bought a cap of them, the draft cap, because I think it looked cool and after all I switched caps with Arles because he bought me another cap of a of an NBA team and we and were I all good in Arles as a football fan. Yep, and I just thought of why when I wanted want to be a football fan of the Cardinals, how could I not get home? with a cap from them. So I just thought, hey, please, Tobias, give me this fucking cap I wanted. I want to wear it when I'm back in, in Germany and that was the point where I thought of, yep, you could buy me a Golden State Warriors cap in Vegas and then I'm just gonna give you the cap because it was like worth of $40. Yeah, like this. kind of forty dollars or thirty-five. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because mm, they yeah. are expensive as hell, but they are looking great. And you don't get them in Germany because those are the official draft caps. And yeah, the draft is cool. And the NFL is cool. So we're both supporting this, and we're watching football, and we enjoy both. So we're talking about it now. And yeah, that's it. We're talking about it. We're getting two games this Sunday. One of them is no, I don't. I don't know. Giants versus Eagles, is it? And Giants versus Eagles. Yeah. And the other game was uh, Raiders against the Packers. Raiders versus Broncos. Was, Raiders versus Broncos was in the live stream. I was with Broncos. Nee, Raiders versus Broncos was in the live stream. What was, was, the, Packers, what was the other game? Packers versus Colts was in the Packers is versus another Colts. game that we're getting free TV. So okay. I'm probably going to watch the first game, which is Eagles vs Giants, because that's an interesting game. Just because yeah. of the OBJ factor, factor in my opinion. 
And that yeah. the Eagles ended the winning series of the Minnesota Vikings. And their fans yeah. was just ruining the internet with the Vikings clap and this just, hey, we are the best. And then they lost. And I think they lost again last Sunday, didn't they? Against yeah, they lost the Chicago again, Beer? No, no, it wasn't was it the Beers? No. What was no, it? I don't think the Bears could beat them. The Bears are kind of on the same level as the Browns, in my opinion, on 49ers <laughs> and the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, but I think the Buccaneers beat them. Were the Buccaneers? I, I don't know. I'm new in football. I don't know all the logos. It was like an orange C. It was an orange C. Then it could have been the Bears. I don't know. I don't know the results of last week. But it was. I don't know. Uh, the C looked. Uh, it was like in the shape of uh, the G from the Packers. No, no, no. I, w I would just take a quick look, but I'm playing right now, so I can't. Doesn't matter, I think. Yeah, they got that, but I don't think. But it could be in the Bears if you take like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look right now because it's just messing me up right now. I want to know it. And we're just standing in this corner here because, as we said, it's going to be gameplay with some off topic, um, yeah, talking in the background. And that just messes me up. It was? Yeah. As well. But to be honest, I think it's kind of a shame that the winning streak ended in 5 0 because, well, was it 4 0? Because last year the winning streak of the Panthers was huge. It was like 15 0 or 14 0. Actually, it and were the Chicago Bears. For God's sake, he knew more about it football than me, and that's something that's like a miracle. That's really a miracle. And it was. It was just. Wait a little moment, it was 10 to 20. 10 to 20, okay. So yeah. it's not okay. the highest so loss. Know. But yeah, I was. we were on a birthday party and I just sit there and looking at my Cardinals app and hoping that they could turn around this game against the Panthers because I thought, hey, it's an easy win because there are one to six, weren't one, they? One to five, I think they one were. To one to five, five or they, they, they had were. The bye week already. Yeah, okay, yeah, they had the, had the bye week. And I just hoped that they could win, win this, and then it was, was, was it zero to 21? Or zero to 24? Zero to 24. Zero to 24. It was, it was awful. I was like, uh, uh, writing a message on WhatsApp to Tobias, just like, what the hell is happening right here? I couldn't imagine okay, this. Well, just think about that, okay? The Panthers, they fucking suck this season, and they have two wins. They have two wins, and those are against our teams. They bet my 49ers in week two, and they bet your Cardinals in this week, so in the last week. That's kind of an awful thing to think about because we are the guys that cheer up like the teams that are actually bad. I wouldn't even, you know, I think my 49ers are going to lose against the Browns if they play them. I'm not sure about if they play them. For God's sake, I got murdered. So yeah, my 49ers are going to go 1 and 15. That's my prediction of the season. And my Super Bowl prediction is. Pittsburgh Steelers with the Seattle Seahawks, and I hate to admit that, but the Seahawks are just too good to not go into the Super Bowl this year. And yeah. that's what they're going to do. So you're staying on Patriots against the Seahawks? Steelers vs. Seahawks. Steelers, yeah, Steelers vs. Seahawks, yeah. I'm gonna that's go so with. I think it's gonna be the Patriots. Of course. Patriots, for me, it's. Uh, clear if they going to be as good as they are right now. Um, Tom Brady is a machine. Since he returned from his suspension, it, he's just a beast. And Gronkowski I think, uh, is awesome too and it's just... Um, I don't know, I think it's the Patriots, Patriots against... I just 
Don't know what's what could be the second team. Maybe the Steelers. Steelers are still in the same division as the Patriots, so that's not possible. The uh, Steelers are in the same division. Okay. Yeah, um, those are AFC teams. I don't know. NFC is like Seahawks and Panthers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it could it could be it could be Seahawks. Seahawks would be my second opinion. You know, it was, I yeah, yeah, it was. Sure, Falcons maybe, maybe a safe bet or like, like a joker. The, the Falcons might be my joker, so the wild card in the game. They could do it if they keep up their amazing, amazing streak they have right now. They had an amazing they start. Are. That's yeah. right. I think I have the NFL Network, so I know that they won their game last night. So... They played on Thursday or Friday, I don't know. And yeah, they won their game and Julio Jones was just on fleek. He was destroying all night long. And yeah, if he keeps that up with his amazing quarterback, Matt Ryan, then yeah, I think they might go to the Super Bowl. But Wasn't yeah. Ryan this quarterback like three or four years ago? Everyone was just like hating him and thinking of man he's so bad just sell him please and now he's yeah. just so amazing for the team yeah i think the fans make and break the superstars so they can cheer them up and just destroy them with that it's kind of like turned psychology if you ask me so everyone was cheering up johnny menziel and they were giving him this huge pace so after all he flopped and he blew all his money and he blew his his Eliah. yeah his future he was blowing his whole future just for some parties and drugs and alcohol and that's why he's fired right now and no team is going to hire him ever again I think and that's that's a shame because everyone was loving him and Matt Ryan is the exact opposite everyone was hating on him and now he's just on fleek and amazing yep he's and amazing yeah. this year same goes for Carson Wentz as well I think he's playing at the is he playing at the Vikings now, or is he, is he playing Carson at the Eagles? Carson Wentz is playing at the Eagles. Yeah, he, he's good as well, and he's playing amazing as well. He, I mean, he bet the the Vikings, he didn't do that at all, but he be, he paid a great part in beating them. That's right. So yeah, like, that's kind of stupid. One time they hate the superstar, and he just overcomes it and becomes great, and then they cheer another one and he proved that he's just not worth the cheer at all. And I, I kind of hope that they do the same thing for Kaepernick. Kaepernick's getting hate right now. But not because he's a bad player or anything like that, but because of the kneeling he does. He does not stand up for the national anthem, which I get why he does that, but I don't know if it's that intelligent in the super patriotic country that is the United States. Yeah. But it might be great if he overcomes the hate and becomes a great player again. I'm not confident that it's going it to It is his now. opinion, but sometimes you just need to go with the mass of people and just do what they do. So, yeah, you're going to be accepted in this society. Yeah, that that's kind of stupid, but... Yeah, that's just the way it is. But yeah, America is a really, really patriotic country. Everywhere was a flag when we were there. And... They are super proud of themselves and of their country. Right. And I think I get why they are so mad at him. Kind of disrespecting the country by not standing up for the national anthem. That's just something that you do. You stand up for the anthem. But I'm not going to hate on Kaepernick because I get his, like his curse or his, his statement behind that. He's standing up against, or he's kneeling against police brutality against black people. And I get why he does that. And he was like stating he'd rather kneel for an anthem than stand up, raise his arms and still get shot by a policeman. And that's, that's a powerful statement. And yeah, that's why I kind of get what he does. But I'm not sure if I can support that at all. 
And one guy is, yeah, one guy dies. Great. So do you want to talk about the NFL a little bit more? Uh, we could get, uh, we could give our predictions for the games that we are, could see on Sunday. That would be interesting, okay. I guess. Just not like the score, but who would win? Yeah, the scores are, are super hard to predict. Yeah. Right? Just imagine predicting a super high scoring game when the Cardinals met. Who was it? Who were they facing when they were? Uh, there were. Who was it? Well, it was the Seahawks. Actually, yeah, yeah the, the Seahawks. Seahawks. Everyone was like, it's going to be a super high game and they're like a million to a million at the end. And after all, it was like 6 6 and that's just the way football works. You can't really predict any results. Yeah. Every team can beat every team, to be honest. Not the Browns, the Browns can't beat anyone. But, yeah. I think. But any other results. team could beat any team. So, yeah, just let me take a quick look. We're going to predict every game now because two game predictions are stupid. And okay, uh, really let's worse. do this. Let's do this. It's, it's good. I think my card has got a bye week. Cardinals have a bye week, yeah. 49ers in last week, Steelers as well. That's why I don't know the results of last week because if my teams don't play, I'm not going to watch at all. And yeah, let's do this. So, New England at San Francisco. Uh, no, New Orleans at San Francisco. Who's going to win there? I've got to go with my 49ers because, yeah, I'm a fan and I guess I have to lose more money. By and, I'm, them. and I'm realistic and I'm going to go with the Saints. Okay, great. Next game, Pittsburgh Steelers at Baltimore Ravens. Gotta go with the Steelers, Steelers. there. The Steelers, Steelers are just totally. Bad. Okay, so next game, and that's easy. That's really fucking easy. Dallas at Cleveland. Dallas. Totally, yeah. Cleveland. <laughs> you don't have to think about that. No, no, you don't. You don't. That's like, it's like. That's like a safe Browns. Bet. Browns gonna go on uh, zero nine. Or had they, had they a bye week? I don't know. Then it's zero eight, but totally. They are zero and eight, yeah. Yes, that's it. And they're going to go zero and nine. They gotta go zero and nine. Because the like Broncos, one Broncos guy are is good enough to beat right them. Now. Yeah. And they have the the Dallas Cowboys just have this guy in Ezekiel Elliott, and he is going to beat them. Yeah, he, he was he was this amazing rookie, wasn't he? He is an amazing rookie, yeah. He, he was is. the amazing and rookie. They have Dak Prescott as you know, Dak Prescott is it as a quarterback. And he's a rookie as well and he's fantastic as well. So yeah. That's easy. Dallas is going over Cleveland. Next game, Kansas City versus Jacksonville. It's a game in Kansas, so I think I gotta go with the Chiefs there. I gotta go with the Chiefs as well. I don't know. The Jaguars are a team that's not going anywhere and they're down on the line for like years now and yeah. that's not, not going to change at least it's not going to change at the game at the team that was in the playoffs last year and that's the Chiefs so Chiefs over Jacksonville next game Miami Dolphins versus New York Jets and I hate to admit that but the, but the Miami I Dolphins, think the Dolphins are actually good this year yeah the Dolphins yeah, the are good Dolphins. didn't they didn't they bet the Steelers or was it they beat them yeah they, they actually beat them, beat them. yeah so yeah, Miami is going over the Jets in our opinion. So, so far we only divided in one. So we differed in only one game and that's the 49ers game because I'm a 49ers fan. <laughs> that's good. So next game, Detroit, Minnesota and it's definitely Minnesota in there. Yeah. Maybe the line, no, Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. Mm, but I don't know, they lost the last two games and at least they could win one of them. That was would be not so uh, difficult. Well, they but should have won. They yeah, they game. should have won against the Beers. Everyone but was expecting that, yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, Minnesota as well. Because I just think they could repeat this form that they had in the first five games. Just get Adrian Peterson a little bit room to run and he's going to dismantle the lines all by himself and that's probably what's going to happen and yeah. There we go. Minnesota over the Detroit Lions. 
next game next game something that we're actually going to watch because it's Philadelphia versus New York Gi New York Giants and that's hard to predict that's hard to predict I'm going to, I'm going to go with the Eagles yeah, I'm going to go with the Eagles as well and you know, by the time of the recording the games didn't actually happen so they're still like two days away yeah that's two days away right now them. I don't know when you're uploading this so yeah Philadelphia might either. be better because I just think Carson Wentz is amazing this year, and he's not going to fail anytime soon. At least not against the New York Giants. Everyone is hiking, hyping up Odell Beckham Jr., but yeah, I don't know. He had one amazing catch. You can't deny that. But that's most most of the time. That's everything people have to say about him, which is kind of a shame because he's a good player out there of the catch as well. And yeah. Okay, never mind. It's Philadelphia over New York Giants. Next game, Carolina Panthers versus LA Rams. Another hard game to predict because Panthers could be going out of their negative series, but the Rams are good as well. Just because I hope that my Cardinals uh, didn't uh, they didn't work so bad, but the Panthers were so good uh, when they defeated my um, Cardinals. I'm gonna go with the Panthers because then they could win the match against what was well, uh, yeah they could win this no. as well. No. Yeah, I think it's so. even, it's even better if the Carolina Panthers win, and I'm going to go with them because. Yeah, maybe that's everything Cam needed. It was a win, and now he's getting his fun back at football, and that he's would be going an to awesome do turnaround. Miracles right now, and yeah. that's even better because then your Carolina, no, no, your Arizona Cardinals. Well, I'm super confused right now. Your Cardinals are going to the Super Bowl if they are second place in their division or first place. They might be first place. I don't know about that. But yeah, the Rams have to lose to, in order for the Car yep, Cardinals that's right. to so get I a bit of So I hope that they lose. So just the Seahawks and the Cardinals going to be on the first two places and then everything is fine. Ooh, we might be back there. And no, he respawned just because, just before I could revive Please him. Please don't die because I'm going to spawn in your place. I died. But I'm I gonna revive you. No, I can't. I can't. Because, you because can't because I got revived two times already. Yes, 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 that's right. But Next could, game is another game more. that we can see in the television in Germany. Because it's Green Bay versus Indianapolis. And I'm gonna go. I think it's the Packers. They had a really, really. Uh, yeah, awful loss against the Falcons uh, last week. Yeah, last week was like they won the whole uh, game, uh, they le lead the whole game, and then it was 33-32. Yeah, they blew the lead, and it's stupid. That's they lost it, kind and of as well, but they aren't. I think that's why they are really powered for the next game, and that's why I think they're gonna win this. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is probably pissed and he's trying his best to not repeat this loss and that's why I'm going with the Packers as well. Tennessee versus San Diego Chargers and what do I say this game is super not interesting at all. So just flipping a coin right now and I'm, gonna I'm go with going to go with I'm going to go with Tennessee then just because then we have some competition going on. Yep. Because then we I have a different team than you. Then we we totally gonna follow all the games. Sometimes on the TV, some some uh, on the app, just on the app. But we're gonna watch all the highlights and then. Honestly, like this game is super. Nobody cares about it at all. And yeah. Maybe the fans do, or they don't. I I don't even think they care about the game as well. But it, it's a game and it's happening and it's, it could be for a glass of water and nobody would care at all. And that's probably it. Holy hell, what's this? 
that's cool. Okay, so Tennessee and you pick the Chargers. Yeah. The next game is Denver at Oakland, and I'm gonna go with Oakland, Oakland. just because I hate the Raiders. Uh, I hate the Broncos. <laughs> we were at the Raiders headquarters in we were at Oakland, time, yeah. but they're probably moving to Las Vegas, which is great because Las Vegas is the best city that we visited in the U.S. And we just and, yeah. saw. Uh, I don't know. It was like uh, a picture of the stadium, but made on the computer. Um, yeah. And kind of like what it should look like. What it should look like, and it looks awesome. Great. Yeah. So. And we're gonna go there. Just get over with it quick because the round is going to end soon. Just yeah, look at the right. score. Next game: Buffalo versus Seattle, and Seattle. that's hard because the Bills bet the Patriots while they had Tom Brady I guess and that's why I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills just because it's good for your Cardinals and okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's true that's true that's well. true that's true that's true hey you killed him might not happen at all um, but yeah I killed him I actually killed nice. him nice you remember the last game no the last game that was the last game because the last game listed in there is the Atlanta Falcons versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Falcons won 43 to 18 and yeah, that's that's great. Oh, so they we won predicted every game. Game was yesterday, wasn't it? Friday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Well, it's and Julia Thursday. Jones was, a, yeah, it was, was an it was amazing yesterday. beast. Yeah. Jones was a beast in there. I think he had like over a hundred yards running, and yeah, that's a fantastic set for him. Because I think the Falcons are more of a of a passing team, more. Matt Ryan is more of a pocket passer than like running. Did you did you saw this picture of Jones sitting on the Game of Thrones throne from the yeah. original NFL? Yeah. yeah. Just that was great. He was just the king last night. So the first episode of the cast is probably or the JSTC cast or whatever we're going to call it is over because we won the round and yeah. It's and the round great. that we played before the recording, it was just awesome for me. I was like, I was it 24-18 or stuff like this? And yeah. you were really bad, you were 10-24. And yay, yeah, this round I am just negative. So look at the score, but I should be positive, I don't know about that. Yep, you are 1914, yeah. and I am um, 11-18. Okay, well, great, but kind of let's it just just let's just be uh, both positive next round that we're gonna report, and next round starts in 18 seconds. So I just think we're gonna end this episode right here. And yeah, thanks nice. for watching, guys. So uh, we couldn't talk about. Yep. Just write it down in the comments below, and we're going to talk about uh, the game based topic in the next round. So, yeah, hope you like this video. Goodbye, guys.